Hey, audio check. Quick audio check. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do a sync check. Got one, two, one, two. <coughs> Okay, one, two, one, two. Okay, we are good to go. We will see y'all in a few.
Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing today. Mod me. <laughs> no. Honey, it'll take a lot for me to mod freaking anybody. But hello, I hope everyone is doing well today. Um, This pimple has gotten worse. At this angle, it looks a little bit like contour, so we're gonna say it's natural contour. Anyway, today is a big day. I mean, if we look at the title, we have an announcement today. If you are following me on Twitter or TikTok, you already saw the news. So if you aren't already, go follow my Twitter. As you will see stuff early, you will see leaks, you know. It is twitter.com slash peace and 17 no underscore. Hello, welcome to stream. In eight Nate. Okay, sorry, I hope I said that right. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Otherwise, feel free to chat, lurk, whatever makes you happy. But let's go ahead and get to the main meats of today's show. The big announcement. Okay, let's go ahead and open. Oh, I don't need my headsets yet. So, if you go ahead and type exclamation announcement in chat. I know that's a long-ass command, but... <laughs> I am doing a Mario Kart tournament next Sunday, or this Sunday, April 24th at 11 a.m. It is one of the segments of my birthday stream. I am turning 23 on Sunday. Let's go me. And I'm going to spend it with chat. We're probably doing like probably a four max. I'm going to cap it at five hour stream on Sunday because, you know, I want to hang out with chat. I have no friends. And low key, I want to farm some donos, okay? I want to get that back. But... As part of the fun, chatters have been hounding me. Little kids on TikTok are leaving comments. Can you play this character? Can you play with me? And I'm like, okay, let's compromise. Because I, I don't want to leak my Nintendo Switch code. Because I don't want to leak it. You know, I don't want any freaking stream snipers coming in. So I'm never going to show my friend code on stream. Nice try, guys. Don't be combing through VOD. You're not going to find anything. But... We are going to do a tournament. I, I could be playing this graphic. I forgot. I spent an hour on this graphic. I think it's pretty sick, guys. I think this is cool. Anyway. So, how it's going to work is... Um, I'm going to start stream at probably 10 a.m. on Sunday. So, we're going to do warm-ups for an hour. Practice with computers. Practice is regular online. Thank you. I, I love this graphic so much. I found the flag as a GIF. A royalty-free GIF, mind you. And it's freaking epic. I just had to make it a transparent... And then I made the word art. I know, thank you guys. I'm. It's like really simple, but just the placement is really nice. You know what I mean? What program did I use? I used um, Adobe Illustrator for the word, cause like that way I could easily manipulate the shape and the placement of the wordings. And then I used, what did I use to make it a transparent? I used Photoshop to make the GIF a transparent. And then I use Easy GIF Maker to like edit the GIF as well, and then I used Premiere to make the final file. And then this, as you can see, is exported as a GIF file because like the GIF, it loops literally perfectly, guys. Do you see that? It is seamless. But <laughs> someone has a subscription to Adobe. Oh, I get it through my school, so you know it's free, guys. I'm gonna use it while I can, you know. Anyway, enough about the graphic. Let's go. Let's go back to the tournament. I'm going to be making a highlight of this clip. That way, any new chatters, they'll go to you go ahead and link to the highlight. That way, you can explain the full rules and such. So, anyway. <clears throat> there's more information on the Twitter, but we're going to go more in-depth right now. So, basically, I'm going to show the tournament code in that first hour. So, it'll be shown and typed as a chat command from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. next Sunday during stream. Because I, how tournaments work for Mario Kart is that you can have like the queue open but you can't start racing until the time slot opens so it's probably gonna run i think we're gonna run the tournament from 11 a.m pst to 12 p.m pst so it's only gonna go for about an hour because i don't want it to go too long and <clears throat> just seeing how other people run tournaments for stream is we're probably going i don't know how many people are gonna show up because like i know chatters want to like play with me but i don't know how many people are gonna show up i It'd be cool if we had a full lobby of 12 people. I think that would be sick. That would be amazing. That, that'd be goals, guys. But I, I I think we can do it because one, it's the birthday stream. And also, little, little shits have been wanting to play with me for ages. So hopefully we'll have a full lobby. If there is not a full lobby or if there's more than 12, 
they're going to be playing with the computers, but how I've seen other people do tournaments is that they will, like, kind of shuffle the lobbies every few rounds so that you're not playing with the same people. So, like, let's say, for example, you're playing with, like, three people who are diehard Mario Kart players. Like, you don't want to keep playing with those specific people. So, um, that specific rule will be in that command on Sunday as well. Because I, I want to be as, like, clear and tr transparent as I can with the rules. But, ultimately, this tournament is for fun. It's not for sweats. It's not for pro players. I appreciate you, Tony. I want to see all you chatters in the stream or like in the tournament because like i think it'd be fun it, it'll be a lot of fun guys it, i promise you did i love watching mario kart streams where they play with viewers but i feel like when you're small and growing you see people who go to stream just to play with you and i don't want that type of growth that's why we're only going to be doing this one tournament if it does well we might do them every few months or so anyway <laughs> The last line of the tweet says, The time has come for me to finally play with viewers. In what better way than a friendly tournament? <laughs> Devil face. <laughs> Those who place top three will win a mystery prize. What is the prize? I'm not telling you. I'm not leaking. It's a mystery, guys. I'm not gonna tell you. Okay? Okay. It could be, like, a bag of rocks. It could be a million dollars. We don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> um, we didn't... Okay. But I know the joke is that Meg Esports... It's kind of like um, goofing on Connor Eats Pants, because anytime he does like any type of collab or like tourney, he calls it Connor Esports. So it's kind of like a play on Megan Esports, Meg Esports. It's not, it's not a real team, guys. I'm not starting a team. We didn't get any sponsors. Like G Fuel, Artisan Builds did not hit me up, so we did not get sponsors for this event. So this is solely independently funded by me. So prizes, if it's not gonna be a million. It's not gonna be a million dollars for first place, okay? <laughs> but the reason why I'm not leaking what the prize is, um, because I don't want people showing up just for like the giveaway. Cause like you know when you go to like a giveaway stream and like people are there just to possibly get the prize. Like I don't want to, I don't want to leech in that capacity. So that is why I'm not leaking what it is. Um, like I said, it could be a bag of rocks. <laughs> um, yeah. So that is our big announcement of the day. Anybody new in the chat, you can do an exclamation announcement to be linked to the tweet to get a little bit more information. But yeah, I'm excited. I I have been planning this. Okay, honestly, this is not nothing too crazy. This is nothing insane. It's just like a Mario Kart game. But you know, like I said, I made this graphic in like an hour. So it's not like I, I spent like ages and ages working on it. But yeah. So that is the big news of the day. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. Okay. Um, before we get into Mario Kart today, I want to do to do a little bit of reacts. Sorry, that was a lot of talking. So I needed to take a breath. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to do like a little bit of reacts. So, a segment I saw on Prezo's stream. Okay, I have to go to this camera real quick because I don't want to leak anything. So I said and I saw on Presto stream was every week he um I think Pre Prezo is like he became partner a few months ago. He's an editor for like a few other streamers and YouTubers. So and like his Twitter, oh my god, it's so freaking funny. But he does a segment every week to where like he reacts to to like his favorite twitch clips of the week <laughs> so i i think it'd be a fun thing to try in my channel so audio should be working but like if levels are a bit weird or a bit off please tell me um let's go ahead and see what clips i have queued up um i usually will clip the big guys because you know i usually watch the big streamers but i have a few like smaller streamer clips in here Let's see. I'll try and find some from like max two weeks ago. Oh, okay, okay. Because like you can kind of see the way I I title my clips. Okay, if y'all are gonna clip stuff in chat, like make it as clickbaity as possible. Okay, because the whole point of a clip is to get people to click on it. So like, like this title Omega Law. That's that's not the <laughs> that's not the best title. Um, but I kicked W Chatter. What was this clip? 
this is women are really transphobic. I'm like, babe, women get mad. Oh my god, walking to a women's bathroom because they think you're a man. This one, we have the same battles. What? Okay, that's probably not the best. That's not the best joke to open. That was a queer joke. That was that was not a good one to open with. Sag. Um, I clip myself sometimes, as you can see here, but that's usually just like, if I find a good clip during a stream, then I'll save it for TikTok later. Otherwise, I don't clip my streams, because I think that is a little bit cringe. Um, what was that clip we just watched? Let's see. Oh, I remember this one. I remember this one was a Rich Campbell clip. This one was a good one. <laughs> because, um, Rich Campbell, um, Andy Millen, Rich Campbell... Andy Milanakis and then Seer are doing an IRL trip in Italy. I think today's their last day. But this is this is honestly such a good clip. Maybe this, maybe this will disincentivize you. That, let's go with that. To not get a motorcycle. Discourage, demoralize. Discourage you. Deter. This will get this will get a, this will discourage you from getting a motorbike. And if you already have a motorbike. Maybe don't do hot shot shit. Always have a helmet on. You don't have to go fast. Just go from point A to point B. Because our bodies are very fucking fragile. And you have no fucking protection. <laughs> like a rich. Oh my god. <laughs> the guy went by on the motorcycle right as he said it. And he was going really fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's just Europe for you, though. Like, huh? What'd you say? Uh -huh. I can't hear you with this speed. <laughs> I love Rich's laugh so much. He's like, anytime he starts laughing, the whole chat goes just spams like capital A. They're like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> it's so funny as shit. Oh my god. Th this one was a good moment because just like the timing was great. Okay, let's find another one. <clears throat> there was this really funny Hassan clip. It was during the R slash place meta for like those three days. Mm. What? Oh, it was this one. It was this one. It was this one. This one was so freaking good. Yeah, but look at look at France. Look at France. They're trying to defend it. Oh, and it's white. We can, can attack only... France. You can only Dude, white. no, you can only okay. white. Every... Talking about the Arshless place meta, I never like participated because one, I didn't want to make a Reddit account, but I was here because like I was lurking in like all the big guys' stream. Like I was lurking in Hassan and Miskiff streams during the Arshless place meta, and. I never participated, like, I didn't go to war, guys, but I was here, like, I was there in this stream when, like, the white shit started happening. Oh my god, everyone was, like, flipping their shit. Every, yeah, every that's line. Good. That's good. <laughs> Take France. Oh my god. They're the first to go, look at it. They're the first I'm to go. I'm at, uh, someone call Rubius to tell them the ad. Someone call Rubius. Uh, I'm calling him. Look at Rubius. It's put actually it going. Call. Yo, yo, put it in the call, man. I was, I was, I was like, end game call. We're abusing! Go, 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 go to the other call. It's, it's, okay, I, 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 I wish here. you guys- He's I'm here. gonna spread over. Oh, the chat yeah, is yeah. so good. This is awesome. I, I only said yeah because I wanted oh, to sound cool. This is actually cool. the end then. Rectals is getting in the crossfire. Oh, chat, watch out for Rectals duck. Don't touch Rectals duck. Don't touch it. Yeah, yeah, don't repair. They, they, don't repair. repair. Don't repair. I don't know why they focus the duck. The duck oh my is god, Miss gets talked so fucking loud. The French flag, flag is French. turning into the flag that we are used to seeing, boys. Yeah, don't, don't, attack <laughs> don't attack the duck. Don't attack the duck. Oh, oh. oh, they turned the French flag into the French flag. <laughs> oh, chat, no. Don't. <laughs> Do not repair. Yeah, okay, that, was, that was such a good joke. Like, anytime. There's a moment in a stream where I audibly laugh out loud. That's usually when I'll clip it. Like this one. <laughs> I just titled this one Keg W. Because <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was funny. <clears throat> I kind of want to find... Oh my god. I want. <laughs> um, if anybody knows Rainy Day Games, I know we do have a lot of crossover from her chat here. Any, anytime I go into a Rainy Day game stream, like, her commentary has evolved so much in the past few months where, like, she's gotten funnier and a lot of her commentary has gotten more witty over time. And I, it's it's really fun to clip. So, like, anytime you see me in um, Rainy Day Games' stream, I'm always clipping shit. Because, like, just... All her, like, phrases are so clippable. Like, this one was a good one. Like, if we look at the title, if we look at the title... <laughs> I'm triggered. Um... <laughs> Get your friend. Get your friend. 
Get your friend. Don't do that to me. Now your friend's gotta die. That's all because of you. I want you to know I was letting them go, but because the friend flashlighted me, I got triggered, and I'm gonna get triggered all the way. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna get triggered right here. I'm triggered. So that's what happens. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just how she's casually like, I'm triggered. It was su such a good moment. Oh my god. <laughs> And look, look, look at all, look at all the rainy day games clips I have in here. Like this, two, four, six, seven in a row. Hi, buddy. Welcome to chat. Exclamation announcement for the news. You missed it, man. <laughs> it's okay. That's okay. Uh, what's what's another good one? Look, I I have so many freaking rainy day games clips, guys. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> okay, there's only we'll probably do like three or four more. Okay, this one, this clip. Oh my god. <laughs> I always know there's a Ludwig viewer in chat when they say imagine Billboard Hot 200. I've never said imagine anything, dude. Besides maybe imagine dragons. I, you can always know a Ludbuds in chat when they say imagine. Number one on the soundtracks chart, selling 67,000 units in the first week. The song on the. I always. Know <laughs> oh my! Oh, I usually don't watch Miskip live because like I'll watch the YouTube, but like if no one else is live, then I'll watch Miskip. And like this was just like a normal react segment, right? Like, you see, react I think he was reacted to, like, Nickelodeon All Stars or some shit. <clears throat> but, <laughs> I've noticed ever since I started watching Ludwig, I say imagine way too much. And since I see it, my friends say it, so now they say it all the time. And, like, I, I clipped this right when it happened, right? <laughs> and then I sent it to the group chat. And I was like, I feel so called out. <laughs> Oh my god, it it was so freaking good. It was so good. <clears throat> okay. Um. Oh, this one is from friend of the show Emmy B. This in her stream last night. Playing with items. People who don't play with items in Super Smash Bros. are no fun. Yeah, literally no fun. No personality. <laughs> Roasted. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, her streamers are usually pretty chill, um, but, like, sometimes she's got some bangers, you know? Like, how she said, like, yeah, wait, what was it? Oh, fuck, what did she say? What did she say? Personality. Uh, like, where she added to the end, you have no personality. That- <laughs> Cause, like, chatters were making fun of her for playing with the items, and dude, it, it was good, it was good. Okay, the the last clip I want to like react to because like, I I have a new found like appreciation for Cutie Cinderella. Um, <clears throat> I didn't really, I didn't like, I I watched her occasionally, but like after the stream awards, like I've been watching her more often and like, um, like like a lot of her stuff, like a lot of her takes are like really empathetic and like really like big picture perspective. And this one, like, I was just, like, watching your stream last night, and this one, like, this one made so much fluffy sense. So, like, this this clip is for, like, the people who, like, leave re who leave, like, rude and, like, surely comments. This, this is for you, okay? This is for you. Exactly. When you're at a movie, you either <clears throat> walk out and you're like, wow, that was good, or that was awful, and maybe you're one of those cringe lords that go to, like, Rotten Tomatoes and race it, but at the end of the day, like... this YouTube video. You saved too many orphans. Gross. They're not reading it. They don't care. Your comments mean literally nothing. Because what happens is, as a creator, you become numb to them. You become numb to them. You can't absorb them. It's too much. So, you thinking comments is important is because you feel self-entitled to your opinion that no one asked for. <laughs> I'm so Who asked? Oh my like god. Blunt and blatant truth. If you don't enjoy the content, just don't watch it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I I think that clip alone, like words everything perfectly. Hi, yeah, so welcome to chat. Hope you're doing well today. But I think I'm gonna save this clip. You hosted. Thank you, yes, I appreciate that. Yeah, honestly, I you know what I I named Betty Betty. 
I named the clip based. <laughs> but it is honestly such a good way of explaining it, right? Because, <clears throat> um, what are we doing? Oh, exclamation announcement to see what the announcement is. Uh, so you just missed it. Anyway, we're doing reacts briefly before Mario Kart. But basically, as she said, like, once you get to a certain point, you're just gonna get, like, an numerous amount of comments to where, like, you become none to them. Like, the positive comments don't, like, hit as hard. The negative ones don't hit as hard. So, like, ultimately, people who are choosing to spend their time, like, writing mean shit, or, like, backseat gaming, or being, like, just rude in the comments, you're wasting your time. Like, it's not gonna bother us at a certain point. Like, for example, um... I post the same clips on TikTok as I do YouTube, um, usually. I get more rude stuff on YouTube, <clears throat> which is fine, it's expected, because like, YouTube is its own, like, cesspool, right? Um, but, like, I have the auto-filter comment thing on, because, like, the only, like, mean comments I've gotten on YouTube are, like, fat comments. Like, they don't- they don't bother me. Like, sometimes they're kind of funny, but I delete them anyway, because what happens if you leave them up is that it just festers more negativity, right? Um, kind of like how last week we talked about that one TikTok I posted that was saying like, Ooh, I don't care. I don't look at my Mario Kart race place because like, it'll ruin my self-esteem, lmao. And then people were like, ha ha, woman bad at the game, lol. But the, the whole point is like, people, we don't care about like the mean shit. Like, yes, maybe if we're having a bad day, it might affect us, but ultimately... It doesn't matter. Like, oh, going back to the YouTube comment. It's like, this comment got filtered a month ago, and I didn't see it because if anybody's familiar with YouTube Studio, like, it has the public comments on one tab, and then on another tab, it has the filtered ones. So you don't look at the filtered ones unless you click on that tab. And the comment was basically like, I deleted it. I wish I screenshotted it. It was, it's not funny, it's mean, but I thought it was hilarious. <clears throat> um, basically, the comment was like, um, fuck, what was it? They were like, oh, you're supersized, holy fuck. <laughs> like, obviously, really mean, super mean. But just the phrasing of the comment was, like, super fucking funny to me. And I showed it to my sister, and I'm, like, giggling and laughing my ass off because I think the comment is funny. And she's like, you know that's mean, right? I'm like, I know, but it's fucking funny. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Yeah, TLDR, if you're gonna say mean shit, go for it. Like, it doesn't matter in the big scheme. Um, but yeah, just- or just don't, just don't, like, write positive stuff. Cause, like, ultimately, <clears throat> yes, comments don't usually affect people, but you don't know what type of mentality the creator is in that moment. Like, you don't know if they're, like, super sad or, like, depressed. So, like, don't- don't push buttons too much, you know what I mean? <laughs> Respect boundaries. Um, you got me on the TV? No shot. That That's wild, but that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Um, did you guys like that segment? Oops, wrong, wrong scene. Did you guys like that? <clears throat> I, I want to... Okay, like I said, I saw this segment in a Prezzo stream, and he was just reacting to clips that he made of his like streamer friends. Like He was reacting like Stonepaw. And I think he had a few, like, Northern Lion clips, and it was, like, the funniest shit. Because, like, Prezzo, like, his laugh is god tier. It's so good. Um, but yeah. We'll, we'll do clip reacts occasionally. Occasionally. And hopefully, like, like, like that command in chat just said, if you find something in stream that you think is funny, clip it. And it might be in the monthly highlight video. <clears throat> but yeah. Okay, so we can get- oh, I just clipped my table. We can go ahead and get started with Mario Kart. So, similar to last week, I think we can do a poll to see what challenge we do today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started for you guys. <clears throat> Gentle reminder, we're not gonna do subs and stakes today because I'm saving money for next week's stream. <clears throat> okay, so we got no breaking again, no drifting, <clears throat> no items, and then no 
Oh, coinless, coinless. Yeah, this poll will be up for 10 minutes because I know some people are still coming in the stream. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, poll is up. Go vote chat. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna go ahead and change your category. Last week, we did no breaking for two weeks in a row. So if you guys choose breaking again, I will be upset. <laughs> <clears throat> No barking. <laughs> Honey, I don't bark normally. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, Mario Kart is back on. Okay, we're gonna practice with computers until <clears throat> the poll is done, guys. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what we got so far. Come on, guys, you need to be voting. Come on, this is a democracy. If nothing wins, or if there's a tie, then I get to vote. And I'm gonna choose the easiest challenge. Which I think no items is the easiest one. I didn't warm up this morning, like, I usually will play Animal Crossing in the morning, on days where I don't stream. Oh, I should have held! What do coins do? Coins make you faster. And also, for coinless run, I cannot end the race with coins in my inventory, so I basically have to get rid of coins. Like, for example, see how the coin is held in my item? If it's a coinless run, then I technically can't redeem that coin. It's definitely not, like, the most straightforward challenge, but it, I think it was one of the more difficult ones. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> I dodged the bananas, but I ran into it. Was it worth? <clears throat> yes, it was. come from the right what happened there like actually what happened I think the red shell hit me but it hit the bomb but it didn't make me spin out that's weird maybe I think maybe I hit another item maybe that's what caused me to not spin out huh <clears throat> That was kind of weird. It kind of wild. Okay, we have one vote for no items. Hi, Patch. Welcome to the stream. Um, exclamation announcement in chat to hear what the news is. We already talked about it earlier. <clears throat> we also have a poll up for today's challenge run. So chat gets to choose today. I should have held at least one of them. He saved. Oh, patch, it's announcement. <laughs> I know the command is long. I should have made it announce. Next time. <clears throat> You're making some bits? What do you mean? Is it like grits? Or like jokes? Or ha-has? Oh, I hit the dirt! 
Fuck. Oh no, enemy, enemy, actually enemy. I was robbed of first there. If I didn't hit the dirt, I might have gotten it. Okay, right now we have one vote for no drifting, one vote for no items, and one vote for coinless. Oh, I thought that was an I. BLT. <laughs> Dude, BLT sounds so good, except without the tomatoes and the lettuce. Like, just straight bacon. Ooh. Yeah, Meg Esports. <laughs> it's, it's part of the gag. We didn't get any sponsors, so it's not going to be a real esports team. <clears throat> the picky eaters exist. What are they part of your nightmare, Issa? <laughs> okay, I I'm a fairly picky eater, but I'm not as picky as my sister. Oh my god, she's actually bad. Imagine not eating vegetables. I'm literally a carnivore. I'm not an herbivore. I don't even like some fruit. Like, it's bad. I have like very little fiber in my diet, diet so I gotta take pills. Or like vitamins, not pills. Okay, I was gonna miss the but it literally doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> oh my god, I dodged that boulder! Until left there, we got a solid first place. Dude, I don't think I've played Mario Kart since last Thursday. It's been a hot minute. Like, I used to play every day, but now I only play for stream. Smart steering band for the tournament. No, go for it. I know some people need it, so go for it. Like, I used smart steering for the longest time until I learned what smart steering is. Honestly, um, playing without smart steering is better. Like, you get a lot tighter turns and better drifts. But, go for it. I don't care. Like, since it's the first tourney we're gonna do, we're not gonna be too, like, hardcore. Like, no sweats, you know, no pros. This is not an invitational, this is exclusively for viewers. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> I did not see that wall there. Ooh, that line was lovely! Yeah, I'm not too big a fan of fresh fruit, usually. Cause like, you know when you go to the store, and you like, buy a bushel of apples, and then you never eat them all, and then they go bad? Like, I'm very much more so a fan of like, dehydrated or dried fruits. To be H. I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> My mom will go to the store and buy like, a million and one, like, avocados or apples, and then we never eat them all. Oh, and we have a dehydrator at home, too. Oh my god, dehydrated cantaloupe? Actually, the best thing. Because they're not as, like, crispy as, like, a fried chip. It's almost like... It has a similar texture to, like, beef jerky, to where, like, it's dried, and, like, it still has, like, a little bit of juice in it. So it's kind of chewy. But it is so good. Oh my god, lines are actually horrible. I know I literally said a minute ago that my lines are getting better on this track. But I don't know anymore. Oh my god, I dodged him! Oh fuck. 
Okay, I did not mean to throw ahead. Okay, second is fine. Second is decent. Oh yeah, honey, go to like they probably have in like the bulk section of grocery, but they have a lot of dehydrated fruit and it's so good. No items, yes, that's the run I wanted today. <laughs> I wanted to do no items. Because no items is definitely the easy one. Thank you, chat. <laughs> okay, we'll do a few more pre's with computers, then we're gonna go ahead and switch to online. Oh yeah, coinless? Um, I think the most difficult out of all four has to be no drifting. Because drifting, you rely so heavily on drifting in like any race, no matter like the CC or like the actual course. But with a no item run, it very much depends on like your lines and your skips. But the trick is, okay, we're gonna go ahead and start with um, no items now. The thing with a no item run is you can't like hold the items behind you so like you can't protect yourself from other people throwing items at you so okay since oh, three. okay since the poll is over we're gonna go ahead and start running predictions oh fuck it's too early Hi, Amy. Welcome to the chat. Hope you are doing well today. Exclamation announcement in chat to get the news, the scoop. Hi, Cutie Lee. I didn't see you there, <laughs> but hope you're doing well today, Cutie. Exclamation announcement in chat. As of right now, chat voted for us to do a no items run. Oh, fuck. I almost sold the banana. We are doing a no item run right now for funsies. Dude, that retro is so far away. <laughs> Yeah, imagine streaming when Hassan is live. I miss Hassan. I wish... I wish I could stream at a different time, but like, honestly, I can't do evening streams. And like, streaming before like 10 a.m. would kill me. So 11 a.m. is like a sweet spot for me. But I, I do miss Hassan streams. I will sometimes go back. Fuck. I, I accidentally used the banana. Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. I think I was moving the controller like farther down on my lap and then I clipped the trigger with my finger. So sad. But we're not doing stakes today, so I can mess up as much as I want. <laughs> Forgot I need glasses. No, banana eats those five tier, tier three subs. Oh my god. That'd be crazy. How much money is that even? That's like... Because I think a tier three is $25, right? Fuck, that... Dude, the... Okay. Um, prediction. I got top three, guys. Imagine doubting. Remember, this is computers. I, I totally crush at computers. Okay, um, actually not not with this course. No shot. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't know guys. This this one might be this one might get me. This one might get me got. Your new prediction is up, guys. See, I'm fine with gifting myself like normal subs. Like for steak, that's fine, but gifting like a tier two. Or a tier 3 to myself. Yes, chatters would like it, but I don't have any incentives for, like, the tier subs yet. I peaked. <laughs> have you peaked? Oh my god, there's a sound bit of Gordon Ramsay's asking. It's from a master chef, I think. But he's like, have you peaked? And it, it's the funniest thing. Wait, bought Mario Party? Let's go. Pago. We can finally play together. Oh, those lines were actually really good. You get the money bag? No, okay. I cannot say what my cut is, but I, I'd be at a loss. Like, gifting subs is not an infinite money glitch, guys. 
I think that was one of the bits for like Ludwig's subathon. But no, it's, it's not gonna be an infinite money glitch. No shot. That'd be crazy though. God, I'm, I'm gonna hit the truck. I almost had it. I hate this course so much, like, you literally can't see what's in front of you. See, this trap would be literally impossible without drifting. Yeah, those lines were decent. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> We had zero points in believe? Guys, come on. We we need some believers in chat. We need a few guys. <laughs> if everyone's gonna be doubting every time, I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually really bad at this course, but surprisingly, I did decently. I, I think with these challenge runs, it forces me to like concentrate harder. But then there's also an aspect of like, not messing up the challenge, right? A new prediction is up for this track. This track is literally so easy. It's also really boring. So, if I don't get top three, then I actually suck at this game. You've got a hundred to believe. That, that's what we're looking for, guys. <laughs> Believers only. I did it again! Oh. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. Guys, good thing there's no stakes. <laughs> Look, we're just playing for fun today. Or how about how about the, the stake is if I mess up, you guys give me subs. Huh? Huh? Ha! <laughs> Imagine, dude, he sniped me. That was so rude. No, okay, that kind of worked. Imagine if Mario Kart was fun. <laughs> Mario Kart is very fun, Issa. And if it's not fun, you need to play more. Because it's fun once you, like, know how to play the game. Okay, that line was horrible. so close damn I had it I, I literally had it top three no sad doubters are eating good today <laughs> I've never played minesweeper so I have no opinion um Daisy okay so we will do Daisy since Keely redeemed Daisy on the next pre. Next pre, we're going to go ahead and switch gears to Daisy. <laughs> Everything else is a lesser copy. <laughs> okay, new prediction is up, guys. Go Valace your bets. Okay. I <laughs> take that back. <laughs> you better. Hey, welcome to chat, Toby. Hope you're doing well today. Oh, you watched the TikTok? Let's go! Thank you for coming in the stream and saying hi! Um, feel free to chat, lurk, whatever makes you happy. But I'm glad you like the TikTok. We have, we have a lot of people from TikTok coming here, so... 
Break. <laughs> we have a lot of TikTok frogs. Oh! I hate this track so much. It's not fun. Everyone says they love this one, but I hate it. <laughs> that line was not good at all. Out of this yeah I, I think this race is ruined guys I, I don't know if I can come back now okay we got bolted maybe Yeah, things are not looking good. Like, okay. Please don't get stuck here again. Not a again, again. I usually don't go up this path that way, so I usually don't go up this path usually. That's why my lines aren't as good, but I, I need to practice. Okay, we fell off. Let's raise you. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the algorithm for YouTube, but like, even if I don't like a video, but I watch it all the way through and like loop it. It still like pushes their stuff or like their videos. And at that point you're like, oh I have to follow them, I guess. <laughs> okay, top three, come on, two more places to top three. Three more actually. <sighs> that was almost the top three. Sag believers. I got fourth. Things aren't looking good for our hero. Where's that from? That sounds like a Pokemon thing. Like what the narrator will say. That, that sounds so familiar. <laughs> I think it's so funny. When there's a prediction and like the winning choice is something with zero points. <laughs> it's like, nobody thought this would happen. Oh, that's just a typical saying. I feel like it's from Pokemon. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it's a generic saying. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. Okay, so Katie Lee or Kitty Lee redeemed Daisy. Dude, I cannot wait for the DLC tracks to come out. Oh my god. Cannot wait. New prediction is up. Go place your bets, chat. <clears throat> we got 69 in doubt. Okay, I see. I see how it is, guys. Baby Park is a toss-up, though. It can go either way. I keep on thinking this is no breakless rinse, so I'm, I'm breaking a lot less, but I'm still able to. You can hear by the sound, but see how I'm ta tapping the break button? I think it allows for your titus to be a lot more clean than if you hold the break button. Except for that turn. You've lost so many channel points today. Well, you can easily make them up, you just gotta watch more of the stream. Or don't gamble. <laughs> Pick one. Or do both. I mean, predictions are honestly so fun. Because, like, it's not like channel points are real money. So, I mean, it does hurt when you lose, like, a lot of points. But also, it's part of the thrill, you know? Like, last night, I think it was an Emmy Boost chat. 
And I, for funsies, I put 1k points in doubt. And then and then she won the game, Sag. So, like, I lost 1k, but then another chatter got literally 1,500 points. So, they lucked out. They, they yoinked all of my points, but... My loss let another chatter be happy, you know? Hey, look at that! We got first, guys! <laughs> yeah, it's is it's so secretly a hate watcher, guys. <laughs> Top three, easy clap, guys! Yeah, I agree, Toby. Like, I would cut through the grass, but, like, I'm kind of scared, too. Like, especially when, like, stakes are on the line, I cannot be messing up. Can I bribe you to throw? What? What? Okay, what are you gonna bribe me with? Are, are we talking, like, subs? Because if we're talking subs, then... Maybe I'll take you up on that offer. Maybe I'll, I'll take that bribe. Can you do a prediction those up, guys? Go place your bets. <laughs> Because, like, I know there's some skips specifically in 200cc to where you don't necessarily need a boost, you can just cut through the grass. But then, I'm, I still have the stigma to where, like, I need a boost, so I, I don't practice them, even when I know I should. Because, like, just watching, like, the Mario Kart 8, like, trick, tricks and clips videos on YouTube, they are so fun to watch. Oh, frick! Nothing I can do! I'm generally concentrating right now. Th this is definitely one of my worst tracks. Because, like, I hate the sand dunes. Because, like, you can trick off of them. And sometimes they are beneficial, and sometimes they are not. Yeah, I agree, Toby. Th this is literally the worst. I hate it so much. And, like, just yellow? Icky. It's an ugly color. <laughs> I just realized you can honk your horn. Yeah, I... Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I hate when people like haunt their horns. It's it's genuinely so annoying. Whenever I play with my sister, she because she she knows it annoys me. So like the whole race, she will just be honking her horn, and it makes me generally upset. <laughs> no, she cannot yoink this win for me. Ha! That line was horrible. <laughs> No, please, Patch, don't do that, please. Don't do that, Patch. That's so mean. Okay, it doesn't bother me too much. It just bothers me when I know people are, like, doing it on purpose. You know what I mean? <clears throat> okay. What's the next track? Oh, this one. I love this one. I love this one. It's a tactical advantage. Yeah, distract your streamer. That is one strat. Oh my god! That was rude. She yoinked that mystery box for me. I keep on forgetting this is a no item run. Cause like in my head I'm mentally like, ah, oh, I missed the double item box, but wait, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Ooh, that was so satisfying. I got every single boost I could right there. <laughs> See, this is why I can't play scary games. Like, if I get scared from getting hit with items in Mario Kart, I don't think I can ever play, like, 
a genuinely scary game. Slushy stream? No. No, never again. Or maybe, maybe again, but not anytime soon. <laughs> okay, we're in top three. This isn't too bad. First and second are very close. So I'm not I'm not too far behind. Big man Wario. Okay. Sag. Next pre we'll do Wario. <laughs> but thank you for redeeming that, Issa. Easy. Easy. Oh my god. No acceleration run would literally, literally kill me. I, I tried playing with my sister. Because, like, you know how the team the team matches? It doesn't have acceleration on. I literally don't understand why there's no acceleration on. Um. <clears throat> but I can't do it. I, I literally can't do it. Like, just holding the A button down the whole time. Okay, that, that was not nice, Patch. We don't- I know we're bullying a character, but that's not nice. Don't make jokes like that. Don't make don't make jokes like that. Don't make jokes like that. Okay. Anyway, new prediction is up, guys. Go place your bets. No acceleration run. I don't think I could ever do. I, I don't want to subject myself to that torture, guys. Genuinely. Like anytime I play without acceleration, my fingers hurt so fucking much. Oh, no items? I keep on forgetting this is a challenge run. What about, what about a backwards controller run? I was thinking about that. Like, I'm sure there are mods that'll, like, switch the buttons around. So I will look into that, because I, I think that would be interesting. Like, imagine switching the A for the B button. Hmm. I'll have to figure that out. Or, like... <laughs> I saw a video where I think they played with their feet. <laughs> no, I would- okay, I would not do that for a stream because showing feet is cringe. But it it it's- it's fun to see like the different ways that you can play the game, you know? Oh, actually holding controller to now? Is that doable? Is that how left-handed people play? <laughs> Okay, surprisingly, I'm doing decent with no items, but this is gonna suck in online, which we're gonna do after one more break. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! <gasps> Vengeance is Pog. Are you from TikTok? Are, are you the guy who's been trying to get the account verified? Oh my god, it is you! Hi, man, welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well today. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. But let's go! I Okay, I know verified chat is kind of annoying, but it's kind of necessary. But I'm glad, I'm so glad you got it figured out, dude. Now feel free to chat, lurk, whatever makes you happy. He, him, got a boss. What if I just call you Pog? <laughs> <laughs> Can you actually play with your controller upside down? Oh, dude, if you do that, you would have to like press the trigger buttons with like your ring finger. Uh I would have I would have to practice that. <laughs> um, hi, Giorgio. Um, I'm gonna. I did a brief explanation earlier in stream, so. Exclamation announcement in chat. There is more information on that tweet. But tomorrow the command will be updated to link to that highlight that'll like answer any major questions for the tournament. But it's nothing too crazy. It's just like playing with viewers. So 
Oh, hi, welcome to chat, Giorgio. Hope you're doing well today. <sighs> I refuse to leave until I have the same amount of channel points as when I started. Well, how many points do you need to get up by then? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and switch gears to Wario, because it's a redeemed Wario. But hey, before we start this pre, you guys know what time it is? We are about an hour into today's stream. And you know what that means? I gotta fulfill my contractual obligation and run an ad. I know ads suck, but you can avoid that ad break by subscribing for just $4.99 a month. Just $5 a month. Skip your Starbucks today and get ad free viewing and super cool supplements all month long. Or you can link your um, Amazon account to your Twitch account and get a free Amazon Prime subscription. It's totally free, guys. I think Scootish has my Twitch Prime sub right now. Anyway. We will see some of you guys in a few minutes. Or if any Oilers want to gift subs, maybe. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the game. <sighs> yeah, we'll do one more pre with computers. Hmm, which will be a good one with Mario or Wario. These heavy sets. We can probably do a pre that has a lot more like weird turns. Okay, I feel like this track has the most difficult lines, so I think Wario would be a good one. Oh, with Matt Wario? True. That would have been a good choice, but too late now, Sedge. <laughs> okay, new prediction is up, though. Pull your bets, chat. Honestly, I hate the Matt Wario track, so I, I, I will never choose to play it. It is genuinely... Horrible. Or, like, the only bad section is the tree part. Wario's so slow. Okay, we're not gonna throw the red shell. We're not gonna do it. Ruin the turn. Okay, these turns are a lot easier with Wario, so not to complain in too much right now. Favorite new DLC course. Ooh, Coconut Mall, Avi. Nothing will beat Coconut Mall. I think the meme itself made the course. Man. Oh my god. I love this game. I do like the Paris one. I don't know what it's called. Because I like how the track switches up on the last lap. I like that mechanic. Like, it definitely, like, messed me up the first time I played it. I was like, well, what is going on? But Coconut Mall, god tier. I think just the color palette alone is really nice. Are you- are we okay, Beeson? I'm fine, I'm fine. If I was playing something besides Wario, I'd be even better. No! He scratched that I am not fine. Eh, come on. Two more places. I can catch up. Go of you. P4? Aw, oh, no way I can get top three. Mm-mm. We're using inside drift? What is inside drift? what I get? I got fourth Sedge. See, like, I see the videos on, like, all the drift tricks and stuff, but I can never remember the names. <laughs> Inside group. Can you explain that to me, Vengeance? Because I'm, I'm blanking on what that one is. 
Shy Guy next? Okay, cool. Dude, I love Shy Guy. Thank you, Issa. Issa's no longer a hate watcher, guys. <laughs> okay, new prediction is up, guys. I do not have a Discord, no, Giorgio. Of course, that red shell. Oh, okay. Th thank you, Vengeance, for explaining that. So I assume you, you must play yourself in Vengeance, yeah, if you know all, all this terminology. <laughs> okay, that, that could have been better. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, the only thing that sucks about this no item run is that there's no way I can get the cut there at the end. Okay, we're doing good. We're in a solid second place. Okay, homie, who put a banana <laughs> on the back end of the like <laughs> the track? <laughs> oh, come on! I I can get first, guys. I can do it. Actually, no. <laughs> you got three stars and everything. Really? Hmm. Hmm. Wait. Yeah, I got I got third. I think yeah, I got third. I have three gold, three star gold trophies in almost all of the pre's, except for a few handful. I mean, if I grinded and started practicing, I probably I can probably get them all. There's different bike symbols at the bottom. Okay. Yes, I have some seen some videos about the minnow turboing. I've seen that. And I have tried practicing, and I cannot do it just yet. <laughs> you need hate watchers to make content, literally. <laughs> okay, new prediction is up, guys. Thank you for clipping the stream, Issa. I appreciate it. <laughs> like, I know myself as a viewer, I'm pretty trolly. Like, I like to goof and gap. Like, I won't be mean mean, but I'm, I'm a little bit trolly. You're pretty good, thank you. Okay, Vengeance, can I just say, you are literally one of the few people who says I'm decent at the game. So many, like, motherfuckers say I'm bad at the game. And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> like, I played um, offline with MBB the other day, and like, she was talking mad shit. Like, she was like, I'm gonna win. I was like, no shot. Okay, granted, she hasn't played the game in a while, like probably a few months, but I play like almost every day. And I think we did like eight or nine pre races. It was just like online, so it was like one on one basically with computers. And I. She only won like two pre's. <laughs> so. It, it was funny. It, it was good. Like, I'm decent. It's just like. This. Man, granted, this is computers. And like, I'm on stream, so when I'm playing off stream, I'm definitely more focused and concentrated around lab 3 but like with a full online lobby when you're playing with like other people who are like sweats and like good at the game it's kind of like playing like ranked like fps games where like everyone else is like way too good and like the lobby making in mario kart online is not as good as it could be because like sometimes there'll be matches with like people with only like 2,000 points with 50,000 points as like the other player so it doesn't seem fair sometimes 
Because Emmy was like, you know, I see your clips on TikTok, and like, you're not that good. And I'm like, honey, it's because they're online matches. <laughs> you get away like 1k. One one see, Issa, it's called charity work, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I got I got second, right guys? There there was no points in that prediction, so I think we got second. Thank you. That's a really good way to see Avengers. Like, as long as like you yourself are improving, that is good. Because like I know for me it's it's never good to compare yourself to other people, right? Okay, I gotta get the new prediction up. Okay, this is going to be our last computer race, and they're going to switch to online. Okay, go place your bets, chat. This is probably going to be my last W of the day. Because online, there's way too many sweats. I'm not good at online. Okay, also, I'm wearing a dress today. And the way the skirt, or like the hem, is riding up is like make clipping my controller in my lap. So we can also blame that if I keep losing. Okay, I, I can I can never do this part good. The lines are a bit too difficult. And just moving conveyor belts scare me. Like escalators scare me so much. first time I've almost slipped into the XQC voice, so I'm getting better. I'm improving, guys. I never go on that top half. For some reason, if I don't go on, like, the same path every single race, for, or, like, if I don't go on the same path for, like, a specific track, it messes me up. You know, item Sedge. Oh, a W? A first? Which is bad for a lot of tracks. No way. Is it really? Oh, fuck. I didn't realize this bike was bad. I like this bike a lot. I like it because the bike, when you drift, it like leans over a lot. I mean, it's no item on true. True. So. Since it is a challenge run, it is going to be surprising if we get any W's, so. Yeah, you're totally right, Ben. Just, like, you can learn from people in a productive way. Uh, uh, can I just say, Vengeance, like, your username is kind of sus, but, like, you're really wholesome, and that's really su sweet and cute. <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and switch gears to online. We're going to see how I do. Should we put no item run in the title? That way people know, or should we keep it the time has finally come? I think the time has finally come is really clickbaity and funny. I don't know, I think it'd also be funny if people come in and they see me not using items and then they get mad and then they leave. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I'm debating, I'm debating. Okay. Shy guy, it's a redeemed shy guy, so we're gonna be playing shy guy until someone else redeems. A new character. Let's go white. I kind of like how the white is like more of like a, a cloud gray. It's not fully white. <laughs> yeah, for sure, Vengeance. Or Pog. Ah, uh, dude, I cannot wait for Sunday. I am so excited. We're not gonna go out to eat for my birthday. Because, like, I definitely- I honestly would rather get, like, 50 bucks than go spend it at Olive Garden on, like, just your appetizers, you know? But I'm- I'm genuinely so excited for that tournament. <laughs> okay, I would- I would choose a different bike. But it takes me a long-ass time <laughs> to learn how to use, like, whatever vehicle. 
So like before I started using this bike on stream, I legit practiced for probably a total of 10 hours before I tried the bike on stream. And even then, when I first started playing with this bike on stream, like I was trash. I was bad. <laughs> Benjamin's got caught. <laughs> that, that one is funny. See, like, I, okay. We talked about this before, but like a lot of usernames on TikTok, you know it's their alt account because it's like some weird ass shit, right? But Twitch usernames, they usually, I think they changed the rules like about a month ago to like if your username has like bad words or if it's like kind of TOS, then they'll make you change your username. But I like my username a lot. I think it's cool because like it's fairly like gender neutral, like it doesn't have any connotations to it. And peace is cool. Because, like, pro tip when you guys are making your usernames, make them short. Because, like, for example, if the username has, like, three words or, like, three syllables in it, people will usually shorten it to, like, either the first word or, like, the first two syllables. So, mine is short and sweet. Peace in 17. People usually call me peace. Peace in. So, pretty straightforward. Oh, Paris Promenade. Easy. Easy. Okay. Mm. Okay, for this prediction, we're gonna do top three. <laughs> we will see how it goes. <laughs> top three. <clears throat> yeah, like, it seems like the meta is carts as of right now for Mario Kart. But I can never play a cart again. I don't like it. I feel like I have, like... I like how the bikes are kind of chaotic. And that's what I kind of like about them. Like, they're definitely, in my opinion, like, harder to control than a cart. So, to me, I think I look cool if I use a bike. What's my favorite character? Okay. I think playing as the gold Mario or the rose gold Peach is a flex. Because, you know, I worked hard to get these, these skins, right? But I like the weight of the golden Peach and then Shy Guy. I usually will play Shy Guy. For like any CC, but probably Peach is better for 200 CC. Okay, we got 10 points, I believe. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Issa. Like, <laughs> like we could. Oh, wait, this is mirror mode, isn't it? We could call you Doggo, but I think calling a chatter Doggo is kind of weird. To BH, and I think Issa's cuter. And I think, like, if you look at normal friendships as well... Ooh, I, I do not know the lines at all with this mirror mode. Anyway, like, if you look at your, like, friendships, like, isn't it kind of like... With your better friends, they call you by a nickname, right? Okay, I hate this track. I do not have any of these lines memorized. Like, none of them in mirror mode. Well, you, I haven't played the mobile Mario Kart game at all. Cause like I saw it and I was like that. It, that's probably the biggest mistake of the day. That's probably our baddest L. But I, I remember seeing commercials for like the mobile Mario Kart game, and I was like, I don't think I can do it. Like I like playing on my TV. I like playing on the big screen. I think the last mobile game I've played was the Animal Crossing one. And then I stopped playing it when Animal Crossing New Horizons came out. And I felt bad. Okay, we got a solid 11th place, guys. Let's hope we get a bullet bill. <sighs> Wait, even if we got a bullet bill, I can't use it because this is a no item run. <laughs> Sag, it feels bad, man. I love this game. Oh, of course we got a bullet. But we can't use him! Thank you for clipping the stream, I appreciate it, Issa. Oh, this last line always trips me up. <laughs> What'd we go? We got 10th, guys. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> okay. If y'all want to, like, earn your points back, just put doubt every time. And, and then we just need one homie to, like, put 10 points in Believe. That way if they actually get top three, 
then believers would get all of the doubters points. That that's what we need to do, guys. You would do Sunshine Airport, because that's one of my better tracks. You lose online, honestly. People should be changed. Exactly! I totally agree. Online sucks. Like it's fine if you're playing with like your friend code people, but with like random lobbies, the the lag is so much worse and I hate it. Like I think I figured out the timing at which you can, like, snipe people. Because you kind of have to line up your item to where they would be, like, maybe, like, half a second in the future. So it's doable. But it takes a, it takes a while to, like, learn. To, like, work around the lag. <laughs> and, like... Oh. Is, does, does just the OLED have the hardwire capability? Or does the regular Switch have that as well? Because... Oh fuck, another mirror mode! <laughs> no. Because my Wi Fi is really good. Like, we all have um, baby routers in our bedrooms. So everyone has really good Wi Fi in their room. Oh! We're doing decent, we got a solid fifth place. How does one make a TikTok clip? Like, what do you mean? Like, edit down your bot into a TikTok clip or like record in TikTok? Oh my god! Oh my god, guys, we have a third! Holy shit! This never happens in online. Can we get some Drakes in chat? Okay, this is only lap two. We still have 11 and a half of the row. Or how does one make a successful TikTok clip? Um, just farm comments, talk about controversial things, and then easy. Easy W. All of my friends talk about how jealous they are of my TikTok. And I'm like, it's easy. Fuck. I love this game. Like editing down your pod to a TikTok clip. Um, I know there are some free websites. Because basically what you have to do is you have to like crop your VOD. That way you can crop your face cam and then the gameplay. So it's a fairly simple edit. And I know there are some free websites that will like Prop it for you. Guys, we had a third, like literally a minute ago. What happened? Hi Billy, welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well today. Um, exclamation announcement in chat to see what the big news is. And hope you're doing well today, man. Guys, we're in fucking 12th place. Today we're doing a no item run. And it is- it is going... horribly. <sighs> no... I literally had third for like a solid 20 seconds. Okay, that was a massive L. That was like actually really bad. But it's fine. It's okay. I'm not gonna go cry later. Working on a paper today? Oh, let's go. Like, I had to do a big-ass final project the other day. And, like, how the format is, is you submit your project and then you get a critique. So I'm probably getting the critique on it tomorrow. And... Sorry. I didn't mean to tap. I am not looking forward to that critique. BRB, no problem, Vengeance. Sorry, the water splashed back and went into my nose. I got flashbacks of the slurpy snurpy incident. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing pretty good. I got like a lot more sleep than normal. Like I got a decent seven hours. And the reason why I got seven hours of sleep last night is because like I fell asleep watching a video at like eleven. And then I woke up to my phone being dead. So thankfully I woke up right before my alarm. 
but <laughs> since my phone was dead, I couldn't like stay up till three watching shit on my phone. <laughs> yeah, no problem, Issa. I got you. Even if not intentionally, I got you, Issa. <laughs> yeah, this one shouldn't be too bad. Lines aren't difficult. Yes, we're not going to be able to go for the skip at the end. But as long as I make sure my lines are good, we can maybe clutch on this one. It's, okay, in online, it seems like I always get hit with like green shells. Never a red shell. Always a stupid green. So I just feel like everyone's sniping me. Okay, gentle reminder, anybody new, this is a no item run. A no item run, that's why I'm holding the mushroom and not using it. Okay, okay. I feel like you always have the piranha plant item for too long. Aren't that bad this race. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, Billy. All of these challenge runs suck. <laughs> like it definitely, it, it's fun. Oh, God, fuck. It, it's it's fun to like add something different to the game. Cause like when you've been playing a game for like years or months, like it gets boring after time. So it definitely adds like a little bit of excitement. But I just feel like I'm taking so many L's. Because, like, items are your way to catch up. Like, it would be cool. Hmm. For the tournament. Should we make it a no-item tournament? Ooh. I think that would be interesting. Because people will rely on items as a crutch, right? Because, like, if you're falling behind, you're like, Oh, I just need a bullet bill. Or, like, oh, I just need a red shield so I can clap everyone in front of me. But... If there's no items, then it's solely dependent on your lines and your skips. So it would be a real test of skill. Thoughts? <laughs> Man, moment one, no. No, no, no. No way, no way. <laughs> hmm. Think we're, okay, I think for the tournament... I want to do 200cc, but I feel like people would give me shit for that. Because 200cc is a little bit difficult. Even some people who play all the time don't like playing 200cc. I personally love 200cc. I love the speed. <clears throat> it would no longer be Mario Kart true. Actually, truly. Really. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we would have to play with items. Dude, whenever I get a wrench, I'm always so tempted to throw it. You never play 200? I always play 200cc. Oh! <laughs> 100cc makes me cringe. It's, it just seems so slow in comparison. <laughs> okay, we got a solid fifth right now. I'm not doing too bad, guys. Yeah, everybody, you guys have a whole week to practice. So all of y'all saying I suck at the game, talking mad shit, Imagine I get first in my tournament. You guys would never be able to live that down. Okay, we got a third. Ranchel incoming. Let's hope it's not for me. Thank God it's not for me.
Okay. Oh, you see what that guy did? He put a banana in that double item box. I saw what you're doing, David. I see you from Mexico. You were doing really good. Except for that line. That was actually horrible. Yeah, I feel like 150cc is really good for, like, when you're learning. Because, like, 100cc is way too slow. But 150 is definitely good when you're learning your lines and stuff. Because, like, most online matches anyway, the RNG usually will pick 150cc. Or 150cc mirror. No! Come on, I can catch up. I can catch up Copium. I just want- I want one W today, in online. If I can get one top three- Okay, actually, no way I'm getting it now. Ah, uh, sixth! <laughs> Thank you for living the stream, Miss. I appreciate it. Yeah, you guys have a whole week to practice, so... I think I can place in the tournament, but I don't know. Honestly, don't know. We might have some secret, like, pros in chat watching. I, d I don't know. Okay, I think we're gonna do, like, two more races of Mario Kart. They're gonna go ahead and switch gears to Animal Crossing. If you are new to stream, um, the Animal, Cro Animal Crossing segment is basically... Oh, I didn't run a prediction, Sag. Anyway, mods. Um, if you're new to stream, Animal Crossing is basically more chill. Like, more just chatting vibes, so it's your time to, like, ask questions. You can talk to me, talk to other chatters. So that'll be happening soon. Yeah, top six is decent, but it's, like, I feel bad. I know your character, because, like, it'll, like, clap when you do good. So, like, I think top six, your character still claps. But anything below that, it's like, oh, oh, no. It feels bad, man, you know? <laughs> Vine boom sound effect. I hate how, like, certain, like, sounds, like, that's just meme culture, like, it just instantly makes you laugh, you know? <clears throat> Why isn't the prediction top six? Because we're living on the edge today. We're living on the edge. If Imagine I get top three. That would be amazing, wasn't it? Wouldn't it, Issa? Also, I'm feeling pretty good today, so losing predictions every time is not going to crush my soul. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, what, what CC is this? Is this 200? Okay, I know I said I love 200cc, but 200cc online sucks ass. You guys see that? I nailed that turn! Oh my god, that was literally perfect! Somebody please click that shit! That was amazing! Oh my god. 200cc online and I nailed that turn? Dude. <laughs> That way I can show that clip anytime anyone says I'm fucking bad at the game. So many people take L's on that turn and like fall off. God! <laughs> Come on! Okay, maybe that green shell saved me. Because I probably would have fallen off. I fell off anyway. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. It's only 6th place. We can catch up. Okay, I didn't trick off that ramp because I wanted to slow down. I did not want to go too fast. I know a lot of people don't like this track, but I personally love it. Because once I finally learn this turn, it's so satisfying whenever I'm able to do it. No! Oh my god, I almost had it! Okay, top three, here we come, baby!
That was that was disappointing. See, like, I don't know if the strat is to try and stay in the front throughout the race. Because, like, I know, like, RNG for items is better when you're in the middle or the back. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, last race of the day, guys. They're going to go ahead and switch gears to Animal Crossing. <clears throat> Why are homies picking a side bike? Such a boring course. Okay, last race of the day, also last prediction of the day. Go ahead and place your bets, chat. Please be the toad circuit, please. It's literally the easiest track in the whole game. Oh yeah, Excite Bike on motorcycle is so fun. Like just like okay, the one fun part of about Excite Bike is tricking off all the ramps. It's literally the fun part. Like seeing all the trick animations, that is fun. But otherwise, it kinda mid. I'ma be honest. It's like solid D tier for me. Right there, didn't I? I thought that was just a Mario Kart Wii thing. I knew that was coming. Came out of literally nowhere. She was too stunned to speak. <laughs> Probably a ghost character. Dude, I love online so much. Fun times. Here we're up a coin. Easy. I should probably be trying to pick up more coins, shouldn't I? That seems like the strat. Oh, something saved me. We got 8th, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Chat Vengeance. <sighs> Frick, we didn't get any W's in online, Sag. But we'll get it next time. We'll, we'll get it next time. <laughs> okay. So... We can go ahead and switch gears to Animal Crossing. So as we said er earlier, anybody new to stream how Animal Crossing goes is we do our dailies. And you can like, it's more like just chatting. So ask questions, talk to me, that type of thing. So I'm going to go change out the game cartridges. Hey Rainy, welcome to stream. Hope you are doing well today. Exclamation announcement in chat to hear the news. But you already know the news, so... <laughs> I hope we're doing well today. Oh, I gotta exit out the game. I forgot. I'm new. <laughs> Lamau. Imagine saying you're new and then you're a VIP. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Dude, I have been itching to play Animal Crossing because like I said earlier, my new daily schedule has been play Animal Crossing in the morning for like an hour. And then play again in the evening to see if there's stars. So, since I didn't get to play this morning, I was kind of sad. <laughs> I 
I know announcement is honestly so difficult to spell. I in when I was making the command, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Cause I was typing announcement in like my mom view to test it out. And <laughs> I kept spelling it wrong. <laughs> Cause like the command was wrong. Okay, should we change our title? Or should we keep the title the time has finally come? I don't know if we can think of anything more clickbaity than that. If we think of a funnier title, we can change it later. <clears throat> Mayo cart. <laughs> Hi, Cloud. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. Hey, Cloud. If, if you do, like, a Mario Kart stream, just call it Mayo Kart. <laughs> that, that'd be a fun segment name. <laughs> oh my god, playing Mario Kart hand mode? Handheld mode? Literally the worst. There, to me, like, just playing with the handheld is really clunky. And, like, you don't... Because, like, I'm so used to playing with my controller. Dude, I, I, I could never play Mario Kart handheld ever again. <laughs> best... Ooh, best Animal Crossing play on Animal Crossing. Maybe, okay, maybe we could do the title. Because, like, I have successfully caught the wasp without a, a net in hand. Like, I switched tools to a, to a net and catch the wasp. I think I've done that successfully three times. I think I almost have the trick down. So maybe we can do a play on that. Hey, okay. Hello, good morning, everyone. Right now in Timbaland, it is 12.40 p.m. on Tuesday, April 19th, 2022. <clears throat> this may not count as news, but I do have a cautionary tale of shorts to share. Uh-oh. Oh, he's here. Okay. Occasionally, residents complain that they purchased a work of art, only to later realize it's, well, <laughs> fake. We all know that the fakes were purchased from a boat anchored along the northern shore. What you do with your bells is your business, but I ask that you please be wary of this boat. Stay vigilant. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. I'm gonna buy the painting off stream later. Guys, sorry. I kinda wanna focus on just grinding money. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know Easter was Sunday. But I didn't change my outfit, and I didn't put it, put away the decorations yet, because my storage is full. But, oh, um, what was, what's the name, what's the name? CJ was in my town last night, so I caught hella fish, and I literally, oh, I caught three of the big boy fish. So I made, like, $400,000 just from selling fish yesterday. So I upgraded my storage, so it should be upgraded today. So... We can probably undecorate today. But before that, I kind of want to- Okay, I, do, I purchased some turnips on Tuesday morning. Or nope, Sunday morning. The Maroon 5 song. I love that song. If someone wants to redeem, I will sing a song. I will sing it. <laughs> Have a fun day getting scammed. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Is that the ramen? Okay. Oh fuck. They're $85. I think I purchased my turnips for $110. We gotta wait another day, guys. Do you think that's real gold? <laughs> Imagine if it was like solid gold, that table would be heavy as shit. Okay, we'll, we'll buy that ramen later. We'll buy it later. <clears throat> I really like how I decorated this section, but the only thing I didn't really think through is putting everything along the border of the town center. It's very difficult to get into. So I did not think this through. Okay, we got one more Scarlet Pansy. We probably got- ooh! Are those orange hyacinths? 
Have we finally gotten the orange ones? Let's see, let's see. <laughs> yes, finally! Or, yeah, hyacinths. RNG wasn't our favorite to get the orange hyacinths. <laughs> okay, let's we'll swap them out. I didn't mean to dig there. <clears throat> what I have noticed with the flowers is that typically they will cross pollinate when the flowers are in bloom. So if you harvest your flowers anytime they bloom, you're losing out on extra days in which they will cross pollinate. And I keep forgetting because. <laughs> Cause like I'll keep like harvesting the flowers because I'm like, oh, I need money, I need to harvest them. But then I'm like, oh shit, now they can't like make new flowers. And see, like, oops, that was an accident. That wasn't on purpose. I was um, demonstrating for content as to why <laughs> cross pollinization will not occur since I've harvested that flower. <clears throat> I think it's kind of mean that they call these orange pansies, but there's literally no orange in the pansy. If we look closely, it's just red and yellow. It's not necessarily orange. I feel betrayed. But our flower garden is coming along nicely. I used to not care about the vegetables because I was like, oh, basically, if you water them every day, god damn it, I didn't mean to harvest. Like, it'll produce more fruit or more veggies. To see how there's three tomatoes on the vine, if you don't water every day, you either get like one or two. Red plus yellow equals orange. True, but it's not the orange I'm looking for. <laughs> Valid. Yes, that is basic. What? third grade skills to learn your color wheel but also it feels disingenuous to call them orange when they're not actually orange <clears throat> oh also the other day um i planted some roses and then mums and then the other day after only two days of watering i got pink mums which is surprising Red and yellow is the new arm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, here the mole cricket. Not gonna catch it though. It's not gonna tempt me. Hyacinths in the game? I think they're alright. I can't remember. Because <clears throat> I kind of want to remake that rainbow flower field I had. Like, that's the one thing I do miss from my old island. Okay. You don't think so? Sag. I can't remember what flowers there are. And I I know I could look it up, but I feel like that's cheating. Because yes, I have played this game basically to completion. The only thing I didn't do with the previous island is I didn't- I was never able to hit five stars because like I just hate decorating. But I very much will avoid walkthroughs until like I feel like I've beaten the game completely. Or like I feel like I'm genuinely stumped on something. 
My toxic trait is not playing on my Switch for weeks at a time. I used to be like that too. I used to never play games. Like before I streamed, I usually would play games like maybe, maybe once every two or three weeks. But now that I stream, even on the days where I don't stream, I definitely play offline a lot more. Because like, I feel like video games are genuinely a lot more engaging and beneficial for like your mental health than like watching TV shows would be, you know? So I very much feel better about myself if I spend my free time playing a game than watching Netflix, you know? Okay, the reason why I'm planting any extra flowers up here in like the abandoned areas is because I want to see if they're able to cross plenty on their own, you know? Oh. <laughs> I was like, why can I not climb down? Because I don't have the ladder. Five head. Oh, there are purple hyacinths? Let's go, thank you, Billy. See? I said that in hopes that someone would look it up for me. I'm putting you guys to work. <laughs> See, you tell Chad to do something, and they will do it. Isn't that crazy? But hey, also, talking about making Chad do things. <laughs> Dude, these transitions, I'm, I'm getting better at them. I'm getting better. We are about two hours into stream. And you know what that means? I gotta fulfill my contractual obligation and run an ad. So... You can avoid that ad if you subscribe for just $4.99 a month. Just $5 a month. The cost of a Starbucks coffee. Skip your coffee today. And you can get ad reviewing and super cool sub only emotes. Also, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can link your Amazon to your Twitch account and get a free Amazon Prime sub every month. My Amazon Prime sub is going to Scootish right now. It's going to expire, I think, in a week. So I'm probably going to hand that Prime off to another streamer. But yeah. So... We will see some of you guys in a few. Or if any Oilers, any secret Oilers want to gift a million subs, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll see some of you guys in a few. Get, get some water, get a snack if you need it. Get back to it. You're writing a paper on video games? Ooh. That feels like an interesting paper. Because, like, how are you going to write about video games that make it understandable for boomers to get, you know? <laughs> okay, I, I placed my watering cans somewhere, but I cannot remember where I placed them. Oh, I placed them over here. The left. <laughs> Hi, Fur. Welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well today. Um, exclamation announcement in chat to hear the big news that we talked about earlier on stream. But I hope you're doing well today. Yeah, I decided to do flowers first today because I always forget. And then I scrambled to get them watered at the end of the day. So we're gonna do them first today. Also with some nice visual ASMR. Ooh, rare butterfly, I have to catch it. <laughs> also, um, just as like a nice thank you, I appreciate when you guys are using the commands in chat. Because, um, just to get like people used to them. Because if you're like you're new to Twitch culture or you're new to the platform, um, commands are like a nice simple way to like answer questions without the streamer have to like acknowledge it every single time so instead of me going on like a two minute spiel explaining the announcement i can just be like hey type this in chat and you'll get all the information you need so that's why like i try and have as many commands set up as possible um i think i have a full list here yeah so i just linked the full list of all the commands i have activated there that way, like, most of the commands I have are for, like, general questions. It all, there's also commands for, like, all my other social media accounts, too. But the commands are definitely helpful when you're just starting out. Um, that way, as I said earlier, they can answer, like, basic questions. That type of thing. Because, like, I know it's probably annoying for, like, chatters to hear the same... 
like have the same question be asked like every five minutes, you know? Because a lot of the times your stream title doesn't usually like emulate what you're doing for the day. That's why I really like the premise of like the Mario Kart challenge streams to where like in the title it says what the challenge is, right? But then later in the stream, like what you're doing in the stream might change. So like the premise will change. That's okay. Whenever I watch like a Ludwig stream, what he's started doing recently is in like the because he streams on YouTube, Sag. <laughs> we miss Ludwig. Um, but because there's like a way to pin comments on your YouTube chat box, which I wish we had here for Twitch, that would be freaking Pogo or Poggers. <laughs> but he always has like a command exclamation plan, I think it is, and it explains what they're doing in that stream. And it's like really nice because then you don't have a million people asking the same fucking thing. So be used to using commands, guys. It's really helpful. What's a Ludwig? How can you not know Ludwig? He, he was like one of the biggest streamers on Twitch. And then also, he got like a big deal to stream on YouTube. So, how, how literally how can you not know Ludwig? Scootish is just a carbon copy of Ludwig. So how can you know Scootish but not Ludwig? What are you doing, Issa? Oh, I appreciate you coming in and say hi. I really do. Like, I don't I don't mind if people can't stay the whole time. Like, I, I know I can't sit through a multi-hour stream, but just saying hi to know that there are people like, you know, hanging out, chilling, who like the stream. I really appreciate it, but I hope you have, a, have as good of a time today as you can at school today, Furman. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to chat today, Rules. Hope you're doing well today. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. But otherwise, feel free to chat, lurk, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Ludwig sounds like a Pokemon. <laughs> a little bit, I guess. <laughs> you didn't know he went to YouTube? That was like... Yeah, sorry, that's like the biggest story from last year. Besides like his subathon. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just picture you like going to Ludwig's Twitch channel and be like, Hey, he hasn't been live in like four months. Where'd he go? <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> but yeah, he's on YouTube now, Sag. Like, I've considered, because like when I started streaming, like there, like your two main options are gonna be like Twitch or YouTube, right? And I, I will very rarely I will watch like a YouTube live stream unless it's like a creator that I like. But Twitch is obviously the way to go. Cause just like the Twitch culture is big enough on its own, like it's its own entity, and I like that a lot. Oh, dude, the subathon. Okay, can I just say I watched Ludwig before the subathon, so I'm not OG, but I'm not like the cringe people who joined then. <laughs> yeah, Issa, you're new to Twitch. I know, hun. I know. <laughs> hey, check it out. I got you a cork board. <clears throat> As soon as I saw it for sale, I knew who it was really for. I hope you find some use for it. I was getting a new net. That was what I was doing. Oh, I don't have a fishing rod either. Issa, are you- are you a Minecraft stan? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. But I would say it- It's very fitting for your personality if you are a Minecraft kid, Issa. <laughs> oh, you're new to Twitch so you don't know Ludwig? That's okay. New, new frogs will probably not know Ludwig, but... You are a Minecraft kid! Oh no! 
I mean, that's fine. That's fine. <gasps> literally same. Literally same, A4. Literally. Because, like, I remember one of Lud Ludwig's, like, Among Us YouTube videos came up and I recommended. And that was the first time I ever saw him, right? And that made me watch Twitch. And that made me become, like, a Twitch chatter. Like, Ludwig is what brought me to the platform. Oh, also, I appreciate the follow, A4. I appreciate that. <laughs> but... Just saying, Among Us meta, if that never happened, I would never be streaming. I'd probably still be a YouTube frog. I feel like the Among Us meta brought a lot of people to the platform, though. Yeah, I've literally never played Minecraft. I have no desire to play Minecraft. I'm gonna be honest. Minecraft stands come for me. But I'm just not a big fan of the graphics. Like, I like pretty games. I I, I will never play Minecraft. Yep, literally never. The Among Us pipeline? Yeah, it's kind of sus, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Can I just say, can I just say, the only reason why I subscribe to Connor Eats Pants is just so I can have this Among Us emote. Isn't it so good? It's so good. <laughs> like, I paid $5 just to have that emote. Yes, I know you can make Minecraft pretty, but that requires way too much work. Like, I can play Animal Crossing, and look, it's already cute, it's already pretty. I don't need to download mods, I don't need to build anything. See, I don't like... Well, what's a good way to phrase it? <clears throat> I like instant gratification, okay? I don't like having- I don't- I don't feel satisfied when I invest like 20 hours into something and it's pretty or it's nice. That's why like I don't draw as much anymore because you know when you're drawing and your image is not fully rendered and it looks like shit but then it takes like five hours for your drawing to look decent? Like, it takes a lot to get over that hump to be like, oh, the drawing will look good in a few hours but right now, ooh. I cannot look at her. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. I can't even watch people play Minecraft. Like, it takes a lot to, like, make Minecraft entertaining, in my opinion. Like, just talking about, like, video game streamers or commentators, a lot of it com comes down to, like, the commentary, the personality, right? Like, I know myself, I'm still learning and developing my... My... On camera voice. <laughs> like, I know I'm still growing and I'm still learning. But I feel like I've gotten better in the past few months. I know! Okay, I started with apple trees on my island. But then my mom in the mail gifted me cherries. So I planted them immediately. But dude, if I had oranges... I've never had an island with all of the fruit. Because when I played, none of my friends had online... So, I think on my main island, I just had apples and peaches. I loved my peach trees. If I could have peaches again, I would, um, in a video game, die. <laughs> but I love the cherries. I think it is kind of sus how in the game, like, you know how, like, cherry blossoms will spawn in, like, the beginning of April? It seems kind of weird that the cherry trees will stay green, but not have the blossoms. Okay, wait, let me think about that. Um, we have a cherry tree in our backyard. We have two, actually. So, they just- They started blossoming a few weeks ago, but now the blossoms are falling off. So, now it's just green again. Because when it bears fruit- Oh my god, we have so many cherries whenever it- Because I think they start- They start bearing fruit in, like, either late June and then early July. I remember on 4th of July, we had to pick cherries, and it sucked. But we always have, like, pounds and pounds of cherries that we usually hand out to our neighbors. Or we sell to our neighbors. <laughs> Fuck, I messed up. Sag. But last year, one of our neighbors, she made us, like, a homemade cherry pie. Oh my god, it was so good. Because, like, she made the crust from scratch and everything, too. It was amazing. So she said, every year, if we bring her cherries, she'll make us a pie. So I, I cannot wait till we get another pie from her.
Yeah, I definitely feel like summertime is the time to play games. Because that's when all of you kiddos, or college kids, are like out of school, you have more free time. And like, also, there's more free time for like your friends to play as well. That's the one thing I do miss about being in traditional school. Because like, my online college, we don't technically have a summer vacation. <clears throat> so, you basically still have classes during the summertime and it sucks. I mean, it's fine because like, you do get your degree done quicker than like, the other traditional classrooms. But you just see like your friends going on nice trips on like their Instagram and then I'm at home like doing homework. Feels bad, man. Hi Rose! Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. Um exclamation announcement in chat to hear the news, but you already know, know the news because you saw my Twitter. <laughs> I know, I'm like I'm always so hesitant to try out new games during school because I feel like if I- okay, if I start a new game, I have to finish the game. Like, I have to play it. Like, when I first started playing Pokemon Unit, oh my god. I played no cap. No cap on a stack. Four hours every day. Oh, shit! Can we do it? Hey, guys. Are you ready? Ready? Nope! <laughs> yeah, I tried. I tried the trick. It didn't work. I haven't mastered yet. So, okay. So the trick is, we're, we're gonna slow it down for chatters. The trick is, you chop the bee nest falls, right? We Imagine it falling. You take a step back, turn forward, quickly grab your net, and then wait like half a second, and then attack. That's the, like the strategy I found. It has a success rate of, oh, can we do it again? Okay, okay, okay. Go! Oh my god, I did it! Guys, I did it. Okay, so strat. Take a step back. Face forward. Grab your net. Wait! For a little bit and then swipe your net. I can't believe- Okay, so I've done it successfully, successfully four times now. Dude, that was crazy. Anyway, back to it. <laughs> I know, like... I could go running, but I feel like that just wastes my time. I'm at the point where, like, just... I'm like, these just kill me. I don't care, just kill me. It's usually... Because, like, when I'm chopping wood, it's always, like, far away from, like, a house or a building. Like, I know running to a building is a strat. But you should just face your fears. Like, go in head first. You know? Stated by a college kid? Well, we- I know we got some little zoomers in chat. You included, Issa, so... <laughs> Dude, I cannot believe... That was wild. I was talking about the net trick and then I actually did it successfully. That was crazy. Guys, I, I should go pro. I should join the Animal Crossing Pro League. Screw Mario Kart. We're just gonna dive deep into Animal Crossing. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about the B thing? Oh yeah, we were talking about like being obsessed with games when they come out. <clears throat> oh yeah, so like, when I first started playing Pokemon Unite, I only played like, maybe 10, I only played Pokemon Unite for like maybe 30 minutes a day, cause like, I got kind of bored of it. Cause once I hit Master Rank, I was like, the game is not fun anymore. But, when I first started playing it, I literally skipped homework assignments. Like, I was thinking in my head, I was like, which assignment can I skip this week? Maybe, maybe I can like, skip this one essay. Like, I'll lose 5% of my grade, but you know, it's fine. I, I need to get up a rank in Pokemon Unite. And this is why I can never get into League. Because I feel if I start playing League, it will become a problem. It will become a problem. Like, I, I have a problem to where, like... I know I have addictive tendencies. That's why I choose never to drink, never to smoke. Because I know I'll, I'll be hooked. So that's why I never want to try it. <clears throat> like a lot of my daily activities it's all formed from habit 
And I know if I, like, start doing bad habits, I will not be able to break those bad habits, so... Anyway... <laughs> yeah, I totally see what you mean, Rose. Like, I didn't touch Animal Crossing for, I think, like, eight months. Like, I only started playing it again for stream, and now I'm playing so much offline. <laughs> like, the only reason why I'm playing offline is to grind up some money. Because I don't want to be a broke bitch no more. I don't want to deal with the flowers, but the flowers are the fun part. It's so, like, satisfying when you finally, like, get a rare flower. <laughs> You're like, I have everything I want. The game is no fun anymore. Do you have Aurora, though? Because I think Aurora has got to be the best villager. Hands down. You cannot argue me on that. Aurora is literally a carbon copy of me. So any of you parasocial Andes who want to have like Megan on your island, just find Aurora and she is literally me. All of her dialogue is quoted from me. I've been so tempted to buy the amiibo card for Aurora, but I don't need her. I do not need it. I can be putting my money elsewhere. I do not need an amiibo card. grab more axes I didn't I forgot Sag okay, let's go grab some more anytime we do our dailies we have to grab at least like four million axes <laughs> when I was like into polymer clay I was thinking about it, and I thought it would be cool to like, cause like I was gonna make polymer clay earrings, which I still might do in the future. Like I decided I'm not going to invest time into making like a tangible product unless there's like a feasible market for it. Um, because like you know how when you see a streamer make merch, I'm just like, eh. Like you might sell five shirts, and cool, that's good for you. But to me, that's not enough market to, like, invest time into. You know what I mean? So, like, I'm not gonna release merch or, like, t-shirts or anything until, like, I have... Like, let's say at least 100 people want to buy it, right? Th that's just my mentality. Because... I don't know. Because, like, with merch, you have to, like, have very good branding. Because, like, you want to have your design not be too niche. Like, you want people who don't necessarily know you or your brand to, like, like the aesthetic of your merch, you know? Because, <laughs> like, I've thought about opening, like, an Etsy shop. I had one in the past. Literally no sales. <laughs> um, I sold soda can earrings. I could show them, but they're in storage somewhere. Like... I had made like 200 pairs and none of them sold because like the algorithm for Etsy sh the, like the Etsy like discover page is kind of sus it's not the good it's not that good yeah, exactly selling stuff is hard so like if you don't have like an established audience or like people who are obviously gonna buy it no matter what to me it's not worth like I like making jewelry I think it's fun I myself I don't wear jewelry very often but I think accessories are like a really fun like thing to add to your outfit right i do have i don't know where it is because like i don't have piercings in here but i have a pair of magnetic earrings because i figured out how to make like an attachment to make any earring uh, magnetic so like i like making jewelry but like if no one is gonna buy it then i'm not gonna invest my time and money into it like yes it's a fun hobby but i could be putting my money elsewhere you know what i mean because, okay, conspiracy time. I feel like all of the craft stuff 
like all of like you know when you go on tiktok and you see like crafting videos or hobby videos i feel like it's all a scheme to just make you buy stuff for a hobby and then never do it again after a month that is my theory Yeah, I really like how, like, it'd be cool if, like, all Wii U games were ported for the Switch. But any, like, Switch version of a Wii U game has been pretty good. Like, honestly. Like, I'm loving Super Mario 3D World. Um... <laughs> I'll need an audience for my writing so I can sell notes. Yeah, like, I think there's a difference between, like, a passion project and then also... Like, it's different if, like, writing is your passion, right? You said, Billy, like, you, you write novels. And, like, that's different because that's, like, a lifelong passion. But, like, for, like, a hobby, like, crafting or painting, like, yes, it is fun to do, but, like, don't be investing all of your money and all of your time into it if it's not going to be, like, sustainable, you know? Oh, uh, like, um, Rose, is your mom going to, like, actually, like, make the cups out of clay or is she going to, like, print on them? Because, like, I've been telling my sister... She's, like, really good with, like, ceramic sculpting. And I'm like, hey, you should, like, go see if you can work at a studio or some shit. Because, like, your, your stuff is actually really good. She has, like, this fully mobile bike. Like, it's this mini miniature bike that you can move and roll the wheels with. And it is amazing. Like, I feel like my sister would be successful at, like, an art studio. Or, like, just making pots and plates. But similar to me, she's, like... I don't think it's sustainable. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. And then she was also like, well, she's like, I like making clay, but if I do it for a job, wouldn't it not be fun anymore? And I was like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, that's nice. See, like, I want to get in pottery. Okay, we saw a free kiln that was listed on, I think, like, offer up, but it was like five hours away. And we were like, is it worth? Looking back, yes, it's totally worth a free kiln. That is probably worth like 5k. We should have gotten it. Ah, oh, I didn't get it. I think it's the timing. I think you have to time, like, retrieving the net when the bee is not right in front of you. I think that's it. Okay, we're, we're back home, so we can drop off our inventory. <clears throat> Gonna open an Etsy? Like, mm, I did Etsy in the past. I didn't sell anything, but that's because, like, I didn't market it properly. But my biggest fear... Oh, fuck. I did the wrong thing. With, like, selling stuff without, like, a proper, like, team in terms of, like, packaging, marketing team, that type of thing. Is that, like, you have to do everything yourself. Aww. Hi, welcome to chat, Neely. Hope you're doing well today. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Thank you. Um, I try. But hi, welcome to chat. If you have any preferred nicknames, pronouns, make sure to tell me. Otherwise, feel free to chat, lurk, whatever makes you happy. Um, back to Etsy. Similar to streaming, to where, like, you're doing everything on your own. It can be very overwhelming. So, like, if she has, like, time to do it, go for it, you know? And I know especially with, like, stuff purchased from Etsy or, like, independent shops, like, the thing I love is, like, little touches. Like, the little handwritten notes or, like, the cute packaging. Like, it definitely feels more, like, homey, you know? Okay, let's go back to chopping. Oh, dude, exploit the shit out of your sister. Ask for a family discount. <laughs> I think... Because I changed my degree program about a year ago. So I changed degree programs from computer animation to graphic design. And a lot of the curriculum for the graphic design course, or the graphic design program, is there's more courses on, like, branding, marketing, that type of thing. So I feel like... I'm learning stuff that I will actually use. Yeah, 
I feel like the branding for like s small businesses is a lot more like cohesive. And it, it seems like more relatable, you know what I mean? Because they're not fully established, they're not fully well known. And it, they feel like real people. You know, when you go to like a corporate business or building, it just feels like suffocating, you know? The former animation student. Yeah, I, okay. I took the 3D modeling class and I was like, this is not for me. Literally not for me. Because like animation in general, like it's fun as a creative career, but like it's so much more tedious work than I anticipated. Like understanding the f fundamentals of like um, motion and animation is really fun and cool to learn, but it doesn't seem fun to do all the time. God! I haven't caught that bug yet! Forgot. If I could, I, I would love to work for like a local food place. I think that would be so much fun. Because, like, the only food service jobs I've worked have been, like, corporate or, like, chain. So there's, like, a specific, like, way you have to say things, a specific way you can do or you conduct business. But I think working in, like, an independent shop would be so much fun. It seems more lax. <laughs> like, I love the businesses where, like, the owner is there every day. Like, behind the counter working. I love that. Because, like, it shows that they're actually invested in the success of their business, you know? Ooh, storyboarding does sound fun, I'm gonna be honest. I remember watching, like, the behind the scenes of, like, Disney movies, and I would be fascinated by, like, all the different, like, different jobs that they're- oops, that's in the production process. Like, how there's a person dedicated to lighting, to sculpting, to concept arting. Storyboarding. It, it's so cool to see how all these people come together to make one project. Like that collaborative aspect is, is amazing to me. Do another boulder trick. I don't. I. I've tried it. I literally can't do it. God. Dang it! I punched my chair. I'm. I'm not actually mad. That was a bit. That was a bit. I promise you. Okay. I have noticed. Ever since I started streaming, I'm getting slightly more extra to the point where, like, I will, like, be screaming. Okay, not screaming. I'll be, like, somewhat yelling whenever I'm playing Mario Kart with my sister. And she'll be like, hey, Megan, you're being a little bit too loud. <laughs> and I'm like, but it's funny. And she's like, yes, it's funny, like, the first time, but now it's not funny at all. And I was like, valid. Oh, I already hit the rock. Yeah, I agree. I, I literally... I can do some of the Mario Kart tricks, but I, I cannot do the Animal Crossing tricks. I don't know what is wrong with me. I, I just need to get good. Weeds grow here all the time. Literally every day. New weeds grow here. I don't know what the issue is. Oh, I see why. I see why. Because there's some on the ledge down below. That makes sense. Because I be plucking these weeds every day. I'm like, how, how is there more? Now we're good. I don't think more weeds will spawn now. At least for a little bit.
I love the animation for the axe. You see how when you swing, it almost looks like you're falling over? It's little nuances like that that allude to good design. As you can tell, just from the animation of your character like almost falling down, it implies that the axe is really heavy. I learned that at school. Oh, I thought that shadow was a fish. Because <laughs> I just saw that little point right there. I was like, ooh! Got you baited. My parents convinced me to pay for the Disney bundle, which includes Hulu. And Hulu, I didn't know, they have all of the seasons of MasterChef. And I was so excited. Because, <laughs> you know, like the, the meta a few months ago was watching MasterChef? <laughs> so, I think Hassan ended off on season 5 or 4. So, I'm going to pick up where we left off. I'm going to watch all the new MasterChef. I also need to watch Attack on Titan. Like, everyone keeps talking about it. And I think I, I like, quit after season- halfway through season two, because I got bored. But, I'm gonna rewatch it. No- no spoilers, no spoilers, guys. I read most of the manga. But still, don't- don't- don't ruin it for me or other people. Because my friend, she was posting cosplays of it on Twitter, and I was like, oh my god. I need to watch the show now. <laughs> Dude, so I hate doing critiques. I feel like, I feel bad because like I'm the kind of person to where like I will go hard, I will destroy your work, I will ruin your hopes and dreams. Like, <laughs> I'm I'm a, I'm just just in general I'm a very critical person. So like I will I will I'm very nitpicky and like I know my I myself, I don't turn in the best homework. Like I know I could do better. Like I know I could put more effort in, but I'm also like, if I can do mid tier work and still get an A, like I will totally do it. <laughs> and like the way I word my critiques I'm very snarky and I I like to pretend I, I like to be a dick when I write critiques <laughs> I like to be a little bit mean or okay I'm not mean because it's a critique so like I'm just critiquing their work but I like to be snarky like I'm, I'm like a snoob I guess or snob, not stew. I cannot talk. <laughs> See, like all the critiques, all the critiques I do are, are like art related, and it feels kind of like mean, like ragging people's art. But usually, for like art critiques, you're only like critiquing like the fundamentals of art or design. So, like their use of imagery. Alignment, patterns, color scheme. Like, you can't just say your work sucked, you know? <sighs> oh my god. Okay, we don't have much space in our inventory. But you know what we can do? We can <laughs> litter. <laughs> Uh, you'll, you'll look better next time, Issa. Like, you have your ups and downs. Like, with homework to me, yes, you should try and do each assignment to your best ability. But also... Like, if you can't invest 100% into one assignment, it's fine. It's okay. Do better next time. Oh, I scared the fish. Yeah, I feel like doing writing critiques would be interesting. Because like you said, you're critiquing the 
the actual like structure of their writing. Because like I used to write like stories for fun up until like halfway through high school, I think. But then I kind of stopped and I tried to put more time to art. But ultimately, like it feels like just mean critiquing someone's like passion. <laughs> Oh, dude. Yes, I hated poetry. Like, I, I liked, um, like, the free read essays, or whatever you'd call it. Is that, is that what it's called? I don't know. But, like, where you can just, like, write whatever you want. But, like, poetry, like, it just seems too structured. Like, it's not as forgiving as, like, a free story. from Aurora! Oh my god, my queen! <laughs> <laughs> what was your poem about, Billy? <laughs> was it like a bit too far out there? <laughs> Oh, we forgot to change our fit. Let's do that right now. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything good at the shop. I'm supposed to do that at the top of the street. Oh, it's because we watered flowers first. I forgot. Sag. <laughs> oh, also. Yesterday at the shop, they had these glasses that are just like mine. The horn rim ones. The horned rim ones with the gold trim. I had to buy them. Oh, I see, Billy. But, like, that's not too outlandish. Like, I don't think that's too crazy. <laughs> or, like, was everyone else's poems, like, super normal, and then yours was just really extra? Was that it? <laughs> they just couldn't handle how cool you were? Yeah, I like these kimonos, but the colors are a bit too saturated. Like, I think this one would look better with, like, more of a pastel pink. So, I don't think I want to get it. Yeah, nothing good today. I'm gonna keep this Easter fit on for now. <laughs> They're reading your poem be like, Billy, you think you're a wizard? <laughs> but you're fine, hun. But they just don't they don't understand your art. Okay, we're gonna toss some things in storage and then chop the last bit of trees we have. Get started on the hot items of the day.
I think my favorite part about playing Animal Crossing has to be chopping the trees. Because similar to Stardew Valley... Oh no. Can we do it? Oh my god. It's way too close. Nope! Man! Okay, at least we're not traveling very far. The house is right there. Anyway. I like chopping the trees because you're just pressing the same button over and over again. I like the repeated mechanic. It's like, I, I could just zone out and chop trees. And hopefully not chop one too many times so I chop the whole thing down. It's a nice, like, part of the day to just zone out. And also just the sound is so satisfying, too. The only thing I do not like about playing on the TV is since I have the capture card set up, the audio, for me, is delayed by, like, Maybe a quarter of a second. So like the chopping sound doesn't completely line up. Which is fine. It's fine. I know it's synced up for you guys. But for me there's like the slightest bit of delay. But a sweater. It's okay. It's fine. I don't care. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what's behind here? <laughs> but it, it's one of the egg fences, see? Last night I had a dream about falling down the stairs. But we don't have any stairs in my house. I've never had a broken bone. I've only sprained my ankle. And what happened was, when I was little, as with most kids, like, your room is just an absolute mess. So there was, like, toys and clutter all over the floor. And in order to, like, get from the top bunk to across the room, you had to, like, swing on the bed frame and pray that you didn't land on any Legos or some shit. So one time, I was swinging from the top bunk to get onto the floor, and I rammed my ankle into the ladder. And... <laughs> But I, I can't remember what happened. I think it happened in the morning before school. And <laughs> my parents had to take me to the doctor, so I was late to school. And I was I was honestly more freaked out about being late for school than the actual pain that was in my ankle. So I had to wear a brace. I didn't get to wear a cast, sag, but I got to wear a brace for like a month. Okay, we've chopped all our wood. Let's go ahead and craft our bait. Now we're gonna go see if there's any hot items of the day. Oh, well hello there. Just like that, your home has another proper room, hmm? That's another upgrade to an even cushier lifestyle. Which brings us to... The cost of your remodel! That'll be 758,000 bells! Ha ah, yes, please make your payments using the Luke Stops ABD feature as you've done before. One other thing I should mention. As part of the home customization services available, you can now order replacement doors. Changing your door will change the vibe of your home, so do so I do hope you give it a try sometime. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Let's get to crafting. Oh, I only had one. <laughs> I thought I had more. <laughs> yeah, that was quick. Yeah, see, look. I said earlier, CJ came to my town last night, my bank balance was at zero, and I literally got 429000 just from selling fish to him. I made bank. 
You only 200 more K, guys. We can do it. We just need, um, CJ to come back. I keep on wanting to call CJ Flick. Because I always think of the character from Bugs Life. One of my favorite Pixar movies. If you say you don't like Bugs Life, you are not my friend. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Some of the models and, like, animation for Bugs Life is kind of eh. But the story, I like it. Because it's very much like Ugly Duckling, right? Where, like, Flick was ostracized from the colony. And then he kind of redeemed himself, right? I, do, I love, like, underdog stories. Because I, myself, when I was younger, I felt like an outcast. So I related to Flick a lot. Okay, let's see what we need. So classic pitcher and a wooden block table. Okay, so we need just clay. Okay, then we need softwood. Clay and softwood. One day I will get all these fossils assessed, but today is not the day. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I definitely feel like a lot of the older like animated movies, especially like Pixar or Disney, it seemed like they had a lot more like subtle nuances or morals. That you won't necessarily pick up as a kid, but you definitely will understand more as an adult or like a younger person. Like, I like media that has some type of substance or meaning behind it, right? Because once I took um, AP English in high school, that's when you start like learning like the different like signs to look out for in media be like oh if you see this happening it's probably allusion to this historical event or the character is like this because this happened to them like just like critical thinking i think is very important to develop as you get older and kid kids movies or shows that how those type of morals integrated into them is ultimately benefiting the kid to like just to be exposed to more critical um, thoughts, right? Okay, let's get to crafting. Oh, I went too far. Okay, we're gonna be crafting for a hot minute. Okay, I did not realize how much clay we had. We have a lot. So I don't think any hot item has required clay yet for me. It's usually just wood. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate you coming in and hanging out with me today, Billy. Good luck with your paper. Good luck with your homework. I hope you have a great day, man. Yeah, I don't know 
how folks can stream for billions of hours every day. Because, like, even just sitting for an hour makes my knees hurt. Like, I don't know how people can do it. Like, can I just say, quote me on this, I am never gonna do a freaking subathon. Or, like, a 24-hour stream. That would actually kill me in a video game. Because, like, I don't think I could do anything for 12 hours straight. Like, yes, you could have, like, different segments of stream. But also, like, how can you be, like, on for that long? Like, in terms of being, like, sociable and not wanting to, like, I guess seclude yourself, right? I don't, I don't think I could do it. Like, I think about two months ago now, Kiki Lee did a 12-hour coding stream. And by, like, hour seven, she was struggling. <laughs> Because I know myself, I'm very introverted, so I very much have, like, a social battery to where, like, I can only, like, maybe handle talking to friends for, like, maybe an hour or two in a voice call. Like, anything longer than that, I'm just like, can I, can I please leave politely? Can I leave? But ever since I started, like, changing stream to, like, to have runtime be at about three hours, um, like, doing Animal Crossing Race stream, I, I think it's fine. I think it's, like, a good transition. Because, like, I think two hours was, like... Because two hours used to be my max, right? But I think three hours is good. Like, it's not too short, not too long. And I kind of like how there's, like, different segments of stream. Like, i.e., if there's, like, an opening just chatting, and then Mario Kart, Animal Crossing, and then you laugh, you lose. I think that's a good structure. Because then every stream, there's always, like... Not something new. It, it feels more structured. You know, like a television show would be? So I definitely like the change that I made. And also, a streamer friend told me, your stream doesn't get really pushed until you hit hour three. So... <laughs> I was like, I guess I gotta stream three hours, Sag. But like, I feel like having the different segments segments makes it feel not like three hours, though. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I can maybe do four, but I, I think four is pushing it. I think four, because like three hours is like my max. That's my like max social battery life for like a stream. Because when you're streaming, right? You have multiple people in chat like, multiple people to talk to, right? Versus, like, a one-on-one -on -one hang out with a friend, right? But, like... I don't want to feel like I'm pushing it. You know? Because, like, the longer streams, like, i.e. to me, anything more than five hours, it feels like you're stretching out your content too much. Because at that point, you're just looking for runtime. So I think we're gonna stick with three hours runtime for probably, I think, two more months, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> and like another reason why I can't necessarily make runtime longer is because like people start coming home from work pretty soon. <laughs> so like if I go for four hours, people are gonna start hearing me talk <laughs> at home, and that's kind of cringe. And me now in a video game. In a video game. <laughs> Did you like grill them? Were you mean, Issa? Did you bully them? <laughs> oh, it's okay. You'll get it next time, Issa. You'll get it next time. Issa, you're literally throwing with this assignment. You did not get a W. Come on. <laughs> But you'll get it next time, hon. Okay. Before we start crafting, you guys know what time it is. We are another hour to stream. And you know what time it is, baby! It's ad time! <laughs> so... 
You can avoid that ad break for, by subscribing for just $4.99, just $5 a month. Skip a coffee this week and you can get ad reviewing all week or all year, all month long. And you also get super cool sub only emotes. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and get a free Amazon Prime sub every month. Mine is personally going to Scootish, but I'm probably going to switch that to another person, another person next month. But yeah, and that is coming. We will see some of you guys in a few. Unless any Oilers want to drop a million subs, go for it. That way, non-subs don't have no chance. Hey, okay. and it's coming. We will see some of you guys in a few. Get okay, back to crafting. I'm gonna be honest. Crafting is like the most boring thing in Animal Crossing, so y'all aren't missing much. Tbh. <laughs> I think it's so cute how all the other characters like will hype you up like whenever you catch a bug near them or like how Tom Nook is clapping whenever I craft something it's so nice I think Animal Crossing was my first ever feel-good game and I didn't fully understand I guess the importance of having something where you're not like grinding all the time or working towards something like where you're just doing something where you enjoy passing the time you know Probably gonna craft probably 10 wood block toys that way I can make 10 tables. You know what's actually wild? Because I have a timer in chat for the stream at once that says, Yo, it's been an hour. Gentle reminder to get some water and snacks if you need it. Like it's actually on the hour now. It's never been on time. It's never been on the hour. Because, <laughs> like, the timers. I try and segment them, that way they don't overlap too much. But as you can see, there's some overlap because there was like three in the past two minutes. But the hourly reminder never, never is on the hour. So I am genuinely surprised that it's working today. thinking of what ooh, I clipped my table of what game I want to play next for stream like it's definitely gonna be Kirby so I think what we're gonna do is do Mario Kart only one day a week and then do Kirby and then Super Mario 3D World I think that is gonna be the schedule starting next week because like I, I definitely love Mario Kart, but I kind of want to, like, ease away from it a little bit. Because I feel like Mario Kart, yes, it's more hype. Yes, people like it. But I feel like it doesn't push my, I guess, commentary enough. And that's the thing I've been, like, battling with for a while, right? That's why I like the Animal Crossing segments, where it's usually just me talking. And, like, getting used to... Like, bouncing back and forth with chat. The next game is definitely gonna be Kirby. So hopefully Kirby will be in the mail by Sunday. 
Because <laughs> I ordered it the day before yesterday. And it said it could take up to five days. But hopefully, she comes in the mail by Sunday. If not, then that's a bummer. <laughs> Just learn, learn something more competitive? Ooh, I don't know. Like, what other Nintendo game would... The only thing I can really think of is Smash. But I am horrible at Smash. Like, no shot am I doing Smash. Or just think out loud. Yeah. Like, I feel like a lot of my older Mario Kart clips, like a lot of my older Mario Kart streams, like, it's usually just me talking, similar to, like, how an Animal Crossing stream is. But, usually, like, with Mario Kart now, I'm trying to, like, actually focus. So that's why I'm, like, saying stuff less. Because I feel like there's more of a pressure now that I have, like, more people than usual watching. As of recent, like, in the past two months, I've seen, like, really good growth. Like, I feel like there's a pressure to, like, actually do well. So I feel like I have to focus more and talk less. Okay, that's genuinely why- Okay, you guys ever watch, like, an FPS streamer and they don't talk at all and it's boring as shit? It's because they're actually playing the game, right? Like, their main focus is the game, not the commentary, right? But that's just how most FPS players are. It's like, yes, it, it, it is fun watching them get a sick kill, right? Like, it's not necessarily the jokes you're looking for. Like, you're watching for gameplay. Play competitive Pokemon? Maybe. Ooh. I don't know. I'm indifferent about Pokemon. I might play Pokemon on stream at some point. But I feel like there'd be a lot of little backseat gamers. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. Exclamation announcement in chat to hear the news. Okay, I just realized the way I say it makes it sound like I'm pregnant, but I'm not. That's, that's not what the announcement is. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> oh my god, imagine. I would have to, like, get a partner first before that, that could happen. <laughs> oh my god. Just learn all the competitive Pokemon. Is there like... Is there like competitive teams for Pokemon? Or is it just like speedrunning is a... Cause I can only think of like speedrunning. Okay. I think we've crafted all the hot items we can for the day. There is competitive Pokemon. What? A oh, regional attorneys? Okay. Oh, because you can battle people! I was only thinking of like main story Pokemon. I forgot that you can like battle people. Duh. <laughs> I forgot that. I know, I forgot. I'm not a diehard Pokemon fan. <laughs> oh my god. I need to go eat lunch or something. I think that's my problem. I had a small breakfast, so... We're gonna blame it on that. Ooh, up 50k! Dude, I'm rolling in it. Okay, we have to buy this ramen. We have to... Put tantamen. Tantamen. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and deposit our money. Save. And then do... You laugh, you lose. Thank you for clipping the stream, Issa. I appreciate it. <laughs> Did you clip me saying, I don't know what Pokemon competitive leagues are like? <laughs> I, I feel like that's what you clipped, man.
Okay, let's go ahead and save. Now, we can switch gears, too. You laugh, you freaking lose. Okay, last time we did You Laugh, You Lose. Unfortunately, the game audio captured as well. So, that was an oopsie on my part. So I have clicked the home button, that way we don't accidentally capture the game audio again. <laughs> but you know, it's okay. It's fine. I have figured out a workaround. So y'all will not be hearing Animal Crossing music as we are doing You Laugh, You Lose. You know, it's fine. I was not totally angry when I saw the VOD from Thursday. It's fine. I'm not upset. It's okay. Anyway, if you're new to stream, <laughs> we're going to watch a funny haha -ha YouTube video. And if you laugh, you lose. If you laugh, type one in chat. Tell me what made you laugh. Let's go ahead and get started, guys. Are we ready? So I, I am not allowed to pause the video unless I deem it's necessary to pause. And then I can smile, but I cannot laugh. Okay? Okay. I thought something was gonna happen. <laughs> oh no. That's marriage goals, guys. <laughs> God. Hi, Katie. I'm not gonna laugh. No shot. See, you got God already, Katie. So we'll go to the village, if we don't get there, we'll go to the old Comptons. Right. I love British people. Go to Arnie. <laughs> and the duck say, yo, check me out. Oh! <laughs> Here's 
Penis. It's knocked out. Hit him with the broom. Oh. I thought he was just gonna go. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Can I get a four piece supreme box with barbecue sauce and a sweet tea noise? Okay, okay. No, no, no ice, no ice. Okay. Okay, I got shake with no ice and then uh. Oh my god. That is why I'm never getting a fucking cat. They're gambling. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Honestly, fuck that guy. Okay. So rabbits, they see out of the side of their face. So the, the rabbit is probably not even looking at the screen. It's so stupid. Oh, <laughs> Whoa. What the frick? Oh, it's a camel. I was getting kind of scared for a second. I was like, um, he's like, do you <laughs> Why'd the guy go under it? Oh, free car wash? Well, let's test the sewage pipe and rip. What the fuck? Is that a leopard? These Americans have the, the cool fucking thing about stupidest the, uh, pets. Core, uh, water bottles is that the cap also doubles as a cap. <laughs> See, that must Americans have raccoons too. Or maybe they're not American. Never mind. Oopsie. Awkward. I'm just wondering, can you still hear me? Yeah. Um, can I get number 11? It's good to see you. Oh. We're about to make some spaghetti. Logan, pass me the bowl. It may look like I laughed, but I didn't audibly make a sound. Customer states. Oh yeah, buddy, I started sanding it at home. Will that make the price a little cheaper? Uh, what the fuck did you use, a rock? What was he sanding it with, a brick? Did I laugh? I probably did, honestly. That was good. That one is good. Anybody get got? Seems like Issa and Kidili laughed several times. But yeah. Um, before we head out, just a gentle reminder. If you haven't already, we have a viewer submitted You Laugh You List segment on their birthday stream next Sunday. You guys literally have no time left to submit. It's due on Friday. Literally no time left. So make sure. I just linked it in chat. Make sure y'all go fill it out. <clears throat> okay. Um, I think we will call it a day here. So. Thank you to anybody who came. 
Yeah, Kiddily is not live, imagine. Um, thank you to anybody who came in the stream today. I appreciate any viewers, lookers, chatters, everyone. We got a big handful of followers offline over the weekend, so thank you to anybody who recently followed. We had A4 Rules follow during stream, so thank you. Um, I will be live again tomorrow, same time, 11 a.m. PST. Um, I, I kind of want to do an actually of Super Mario 3D World. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. We might do Mario Kart again. I don't know. We'll, we'll see tomorrow. But just a gentle reminder, we are doing that Mario Kart tournament on Sunday. And yeah, <laughs> I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. If you want to see my offline social media account, I have a Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. If you aren't already, please, please go follow the TikTok. That's where, like, daily clips are. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you very much to anybody who came in and chatted, looked, or said hi even. So thank you guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Go ahead and put Animal Crossing back on. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.